What's going on there? Leo here with Digital Track, bringing you the small business owners in the Bay Area, Ryan, California, Sacramento area, Solano County area. Um, some more strategies how to leverage the internet, right? The power of the internet and the inter and technology to promote your business and have more customers to find you. Today we're going to be talking about how to rank your local business in the search results for a hundred dollars or less. Um, if you want to make sure that your customers can always find your business, um, we are going to cover, re, uh, we're going to be talking about um, a specific type of Google ads. Okay, so for example, w what I'm going to be talking about is if you want to make sure that um, a very effective way that it's not going to cost you a, a lot to um, ensure that your customers always see your business on the top of the search results when they're actually looking for it and don't have a chance of your competitors stealing the top of the search results is by using uh, Google Ads, um, right? Uh, using um, search campaigns, okay? Now, as you can see over here on Vistaprint, for example, if I'm looking for Vistaprint, they are, and they are, um, advertise, they are doing a search campaign when you see the keyword of their business name to ensure that the competition is not going to come and try to, um, uh, you know, try to come up on the search results using their brand name to steal some traffic, right? So um, that's basically the strategies that we're going to cover today, right? How to uh, for a hundred dollars or less, you can ensure that your customers hours find your business when they were looking when they're actually looking for it. And again, the benefit is that you 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 reduce the chances of a competitor stealing some traffic to you or, or customers, right? Because you will be the one coming up on top. It's not going to cost you a lot, right? You, you're going to come in and come up on top. It all depends how many search what's the search volume that says people that people do for your business. Um, and then the other thing is that. Uh, the other benefit that you have with this is, of course, right, make sure that your customers can see you on top of the search results and um, instead of they have having a hard time to find you if you do not have a great SEO strategy, so to speak, right? If you do, if you do not have a great uh, online presence yet, this is something that can get you started real quick without breaking the bank. Um, what is it that I'm gonna sh I was gonna show you? So one thing that you may want to do is set up Google My Business. It's uh, free to do. And what I'm gonna show you here real quick is how you can identify the amount of search people do for your own business. And that's gonna and that's gonna tell you. Um, you know what? What's the amount of uh, you know? What's the the value on using the the keywords to ensure no no nobody else steals that? So for example, what's another trap? Um, um, well, let's see. So for example, I'm gonna go ahead and look for one of my businesses. You you when you have Google My Business set up, right? You can go and see the in some insights, some reporting about the. Uh, so some of the searches, how people are finding your business, right? So for example, here at Catacol is a restaurant in Vacaville. I can see that, uh, you know, in last month, right, uh, 477 people found their location by using restaurants. Uh, for another 457 used by a restaurant near me. So here we are, right? Uh, using keywords at Caracol and el, 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 el Caracol, in Caracol, there was about a combination of about 500, almost 600 searches, right, last month uh, for this business. And so that's a lot of traffic, right, that could definitely benefit from you coming up on top. Um, you don't pay anything unless people actually click on this link, right? Um, first of and you don't pay anything unless people actually click on this link. For, for the only fact that this is coming up over here, uh, the, you don't get charged for that. That's the beauty of it at, as well, right? Um, most people, a lot of people probably just going to go over here or over here. It doesn't matter, right? Again, you, you don't pay uh, too much. And uh, the way that Facebook does this is basically by, by the keyword, how much is going to, um, uh, how much is going to cost you this keyword, you said a specific keyword to send traffic to your website, right? Um, 
let's see what I was going to say here. So, yeah, that's about 600 searches that people are looking for. And uh, let me show you real quick how you can do that. Let's just go over in the, in the back office real quick. So with, you first going to go into Google AdWords, ads, right? You Google for Google ads. And that's going to um, take you to ads.google.com. You can go and set up an account if you don't have one. Or you can sign in if you already have a Gmail. You, and that's the one you want to use. And then you go through the process of setting up your Google Ads account. Once you do that, you can, you know, you'll see overview. Uh, you can click on campaign real quick. You go and set up a new campaign if you want to. Um, and then in order for um, the type of uh, ads, this is the, this type of ad is called a search ad. So you got to make sure when you're looking for the type of campaign you're going to create, you're going to make sure that it includes a search campaign. OK, so this one includes a search. This one includes search search or you can just create a, a, a campaign without a goal and then um, you're gonna make sure that it says search because that's the type of ads that we want to do we want to uh, do that people or, or we want to ensure people visit our website right that's our strategy there uh, or we can make sure that people calls call us for most most mobile devices right we want to make sure that people can do that as well so you can do those type of ads, especially if you are in service or you have a business location and you want um, people to call you, that's fine. But let's say for this situation, we want people to visit our website. So let's say, for example, El Caracol. El Caracol, then we hit continue. And then search campaign, that's fine, search. I'm going to disable the display network because that's another um, uh, that's another type of advertising that I have to design. And but just for sake of time, I'm just going to move on real quick. I then I like a bill. So this is a local restaurant. So let's just target the local city. Um, 429 people. Oh, that's a lot of people. Uh, Back of it doesn't have that population, but okay, let's continue. Then you can say, right, I want to target people that speak English and Spanish. If you can have your marketing in both languages, so that's fine. My budget, let's say I want to spend ten dollars a day. Uh, conversion, and then what I want to go with, you can you can go and set up all this, um, uh, all these dynamic search type links. What I want to go on real quick is about. Um, Get into this section. Okay, we got the ad group. That's fine. The keywords, right? So, El Caracol. And then, if you use, you can Google. You can Google how to make the keywords more specific. You can do that. If you leave El Caracol without the apostrophe, uh, your keywords may become too um, general, like. Google may use El Caracol or Caracol or El. Uh, if I use apostrophe, it's a little bit more specific. Uh, so I do El Caracol, right? Actually, I don't need to do that. I can just choose the options here. Uh, you can use phrase match, or if you want to make sure it's exact, I do that, right? Um, caracol, Caracol, Bacaville. You can do that as well. El Caracol Vacaville. You can do that as well. All right. So, and, and I left this as broad search. I should go back and do a specific search. But anyways, you get the idea, right? Um, you get the idea of how to uh, do the searches. You want to make sure that you do phrase match or, or, or exact match at least. Right, don't leave it broad because again, Google is just gonna take uh, any of these words that you, would, for example, in here, and it's gonna um, use it to provide people search on the search results. So let's leave it like that, and then you go ahead and continue. Let, let's just for sake of time on this video, let's just skip it here. I just wanted to show you how to get to this part and do the whole keyword part of your business. Um, Hope this video helps you. If you have any more questions, please let us know. If you want me to show you how to do this with your own business, let me know. 
uh, you can visit me at digitaltrack.co and in there you'll be able to uh, find my contact information right also I'm giving away a special uh, a special deal um, or what I'm doing is providing you a free report so if you have any issues with customers complaining that your information is online is bad um, that it's hard to find you online or that instead of find you they see your competitors just go ahead and come up to digitaltrack.co complete this information that I'll need about your business to go ahead and put a report together once you click on get my report my free report I will receive an email that will let me notify me uh, that you are inquiring about this and then I will go ahead and send you a report back in and if you are um, need some more explanation we can also set up a time to talk and go over the report write the findings and also provide some um, feedback or recommendations on how to go about to fix some of those issues that we found that we find so again digitaltrack.co uh, here is my information contact information you can come here to see my contact information my social media and you know subscribe in the channel if you want to see more more videos like this subscribe to the youtube channel if you're watching this on youtube or go ahead and send me information and in via email that you want me to subscribe to in the newsletter and send you email notifications whenever i release a new training like this if you like the content all right have a good one bye